Hey guys, this is Funder, and it's time for something long overdue. Yeah, after a long, long time in the dark, I finally got around to working on some stuff. And then we're gonna get back into this thing. It's time for the signups for Season 4 of the ISCC Insomniac Elite Series. And, uh, to those that are new to this thing, uh, here, are, here are how things work. You put your name down in the comments. Uh, I'll explain, and uh... As a note, we have a form now. That'll be in the description. Uh, I would appreciate it if you like signed up and made your post on there. There'll be a post for the signups on there. But if for whatever reason you can't comment, like I, I know that some people have been having problems with the form recently. It might be a form, form motion thing, but if you can't comment, if you can't post on the form, a comment on the video is okay. But anyway, here's how it works. You po you post your name, uh, and you have some ratings. But basically. You post your name, and you, uh, wait for an offer from, uh, the team owners. Now, there are, there are ratings in the IS. This is, and in ISCC races in general. This is in order to make things more realistic and exciting, and give the drivers a bit more, drivers and teams a bit more, uh, uniqueness to them. So, how it works, uh, I love the rings of this car here. Basically... There's two different categories here, all, all three different categories. In the driver, you have aggression, consistency, finishing, and qualifying. This is driving style. Then you got the skills by track type, road course, short track, speedway, and super speedway. And then there's the vehicle ratings, which will mainly only be handled by, uh, by a team owner. So you don't need to worry about that. But what you do is, in these two categories, uh, you will be putting in one A, B, C, and D. Like, for example... Like, for example, you put in an A for aggression, B consistency, C finishing, D qualifying, then A road course, B short track, C speedway, and D super speedway. You can only have one of each in both cat in both in both uh, category. You can't have like you can't like move two of your A's up for like aggression consistency, nor can you do it for like road course and short track. It's one it's one A, B, C, and D for the driving style and the skills by track type. All right, with uh, I th those are the rules out of the way, so I'll be uh, getting down to the v cars available. Now, of course, uh, it can be a bit difficult to get in, but uh, there will be something that's going to make things a little easier, and that will be the introduction, of, and that is the introduction of part-time cars. Um, part-time cars will will run four races. Eh, like they uh, choose four different races to run during the season. And I might have a part-time car championship. I'll think about that. But this is to give drivers of less experience an opportunity to compete because it can be a bit hard to get a full-time, a full-time car because those can be a bit hard to come by. And that's definitely the, that's definitely the case because uh, thing is uh yeah things have definitely been getting a bit interesting of the off season. But I'll show the cars that are available. Not too many full-time cars available, but there are a few. You've got Young Motorsports' 12 and 22 cars. These are both available. Oh, as, um, also, by the way, as I go through, as a side note, uh, a, lot of these, a lot of these cars are being painted. That's going to be a new thing for this season. But as we go through here, uh, just as a note, some of these cars haven't been painted yet, like the next full-time car, the 38 for Baby Tribe 5000. Uh, yeah, it's like, don't, like, just, but yeah, just, don't pay attention to that. The, the schemes will be coming soon. They're not quite ready, but they'll be. But they'll be ready in time. They'll be ready in time. It, you won't have. There won't be much of a wait. But uh, and aside from that, there is going to be uh, BMW Team Deutschland, a new team. Uh, they haven't. They don't have a, a number yet. But they are a thing as well. Those are the full-time cars. Uh, there are some, and among the part-time cars to go for, there is the 7 for Nexus Motorsports. Uh, there is the 47 for Team Umbrella. The 70 for Z-Wing Racing. The 77 for Carl Jasper Racing. And then, I don't have it down here, but there will be a part-time BMW car. Uh, I think that's every. I think that's everything. Yeah, that's every 
that all those are the cars available. I believe that is eight cars in total. Uh, uh, I think that is, uh, I think we got four full-time cars and four part-time cars. Uh, actually, no. We've got nine cars, four full-time and five part-time. So, yeah, if you're not able to get signed for a full-time car, don't worry. There is still some chances. But, uh, just to reiterate, uh, either right, I'll just post your name either on the form or on the or down in the comments. Form is preferred, but uh, uh, but if you can't if you can't make a post, then YouTube comment is okay. Uh, put in ratings, a driving style and skills by track type one A B C and D. And as one extra note, uh, national I would like to have a nationality. I'd like it if you uh, listed a nationality. This isn't necessarily required, but I would definitely appreciate it. I feel that would make that make things a lot. I, I that I definitely would have prefer it if you uh, posted a nationality, especially since I'm probably be doing driver banners this season. I'd like to actually have a a flag. <laughs> but that is everything I want to talk about. So happy signing. All right. I will see you next time.